the Alliance Charleston recently pulled into port and marked the final mission for the 11th 88th Deployment and Distribution Support Battalion. Throughout their year deployment at the Port of Shueba and Kuwait Naval Base, the team was solely responsible for loading and discharging more than 210 vessels with more than 25,000 pieces of equipment supporting Operations Iraqi and Enduring Freedom and Operation New Dawn. Over the, the past year uh, here at the Port of Shueba, we've had approximately 111 vessel operations and that's about 23,000 uh, pieces of equipment either discharged or uh, uploaded for redeployment back to the United States. Uh, we also have responsibilities as a single port manager for the Kuwait Naval Base and there we uh, performed a little over a hundred uh, Army watercraft missions and roughly about 1,500 pieces of equipment. Replacing the 11th 88th is the 1173rd and their mission is quite the same. Well, this mission is going on very very smoothly. We're impressed with what they can do, we're impressed with everything they're teaching us, and we're learning a lot here. One of the major accomplishments that the 11th 88th has to boast about is the new way they improve safety measures between service members and contractors. I'm, uh, one of our, our key things that we're most excited about is uh, how we've um, you know, in, introduced uh, new safety policies and procedures here at the port. Um, you know, when we got here, we noticed that there was uh, some gaps and seams between contractor safety and uh, military safety. And since we all want everyone to be safe, uh, we brought the contractors in on the planning phase of, any, of each one of our operations. As the 1188th bids Bon Voyage to the first TSC and the 1173rd takes its place, the seamless transition between the two units shows that we are always ready to fight. From the Port of Shueba, Kuwait, I'm Staff Sergeant Kimberly Cooper-Williams.